Welcome back to the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show right here in your hometown station, AM 1220 KHDS. And remember, our goal is always to guide you to personal and financial wealth. Well, we welcome you back, and we're excited that you're joining the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show right here in your hometown station, AM 1220 KHS, and now FM 98.1, home of the Dodgers. Woo! And I got my Dodger shirt on. Go blue. Yeah. <laughs> so we're excited you're joining us, and we're excited to have such a fun guest. If you didn't hear the first segment, we had a re really good time with uh, Deanna. I, we were calling her Cutco Gal, but really it's the Knife Gal. We yeah. found the right gal. side I said here. Dot much com. more dangerous. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Every yeah, Italian girl. Means. Do you have to like duck? <laughs> <laughs> Just see what's in my car. Do you have a board that means stand up and don't don't move? <laughs> she's she's building a new axe throwing complex. Why is she putting that apple on your head, Gino? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was afraid of that. She brought this apple juice to this week, but yeah, <laughs> I cut it all off and I put it. No, I'm just no, kidding. No. <laughs> so what's really cool is Deanna again is worth cut go, but we call her the Knife Gal, and you should see her website. It is great. Look up the Knife Gal. You'll see a lot of great information. And what's good, Deanna, is you give us other options other than just a typical knife or you know, I've been doing this for 31 years and I'm always challenged by what I should give as a gift you know to either clients or partners stuff like that and a lot of times you don't give them perishables you had mm -hmm. hit the nail on the head when you go out, like Christmas or you know or what's say holidays and you send out gifts and it's one of the 42 baskets they got with right. a bunch of stuff and that they don't eat and share with others and then it's gone. Right. Or like something that used to be great and fell apart, right? You look at great companies like Harry and David's mm -hmm. and the last two or three times we ordered from Harry and David's it was horrible. The yeah. quality was really bad. Like we even had, oh, wow. you yeah. know, what's the worst thing that could happen is you give a gift and that person calls and says, hey, you know what? Thank you for <laughs> the, the gift. But the dead. apples were all yeah. knocked out. <laughs> and you're like, yeah. really? Like yeah. $62 for four apples? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't want to completely throw them on their bus. Good company, but what yeah. happens here's what could have it's happened. perishable though that's what i'm saying is you send it to their work mm. they're gone that week for christmas right. by the All time day. they see them they are dead yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah that's true i'm actually really glad you brought up that point exactly is so that timing there's yeah <laughs> funny good segue there i uh -huh. like it um so a lot of people are just i think the bottom line here i've been trying to figure out what are why do people give the same gifts like why are there so many baskets given why are there so many mundane gift card wine like i love all those things believe me i will take any of them any day i mm -hmm. just won't remember you gave it to me that's i remember it. you gave me the wine at the wedding though. <laughs> <laughs> that's true i did do bottle service directly to you that was so awesome that's, that's, that's nice. why did you have wine from your place yes. i did place? yeah she awesome. brought yeah. Love it and wedding. it was awesome so, nice. and believe me obviously i'm a wine fan because our family I, runs a vineyard in yeah. napa great but the point is, why do people keep doing it? They're just not educated. So there's two main things to know. One is price, and then I'm going to give you timing as well. One of my great mentors, John Ruin, mentioned it's a good thing to give about, if you look at how much profit you've obtained from a client, to spend at least 5% back at them. Love them, appreciate them, and that's really what you should do. Maybe even up to 10%, depending on the person, but at least 5 and if you look at that, then you'll know what price you should be spending on that person. And let's be honest, what you just hit on is that that should be part of your marketing budget. Duh. Totally. Well, shoot, every major company in the nation has a 10% plus budget for marketing. Uh -huh, you have to. Budweiser, yeah. Pepsi, Coke, I mean, yeah, Nike. Yeah, it makes so sense. More. Yeah, some more, but I'm saying minimum 10% yeah. budget for yeah. marketing. So it kind of just depends on that. So that's one way to kind of look at it. And we all have, you know, our A clients and our B clients. So we're not going to give, you know, maybe a $200 gift to every client. Maybe you, some clients deserve $1,000 or more. Or maybe someone deserves like $20 or more. I don't know. You know, it, that's up to the, each individual business owner. But that's the first thing is price point, at least about 5 to 10% should go back into appreciating those people who are your top people. I'm those, down with that. Those people are the ones that are the reason your kids have braces. They're the reason your kids go to private school. They're the reason you can go on vacation. Why would you not tell them you're the reason? Thank you. It's so missed. It's such a huge opportunity that people just don't capitalize on because they're not educated and they're not organized enough to do it. So well, there's your key there. That's the thing. That's what you it help is, us okay, with. Okay, that, that is one of the elements. Work, yeah, when you help us put together a plan, 
guess what? It, it happens. They're like, oh, gifts are there. Get it out. Send yeah, it out. It, just, right. it makes it so much easier, by the way. Uh, we hold an inventory now of gifts. and by, But it's it's easy, right? Say, hey, get, get one of those. And we have different kinds of gifts, yeah. like you said, different levels. Get one of those and send it to such and such. It's way better than... Hey, send such and such for a gift, and then the response is, "What do I send them?" And it's like, "I don't know. Go to Bevmo and find yeah, something." You're heading to an important appointment. You're like, oh, "I guess I'll grab a bottle, of wine, a bottle of wine, or mm-hmm. bring something that's personalized." Yeah. And that looks like, wow, they really put some thought into right. it. Right. I don't know, Don. Just, I, think, I think it sounded like we should stock some wine just in case. <laughs> that's what I heard. Maybe that for, won't for the radio last show. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> we go to the thing. I'm like, Gina, how many people did you meet? None. <laughs> we're having all the wine. <laughs> well. Exactly. Yeah, I, I yeah. Mean, Deanna's no different. I mean, yeah. she's like, hey, I got a couple of glasses of wine for you. And we went to, like, I don't know, went to the restaurant, came back. And she's like, I have one glass of wine for you. <laughs> <laughs> it totally happened. <laughs> <laughs> totally. So the second, is, I, had to, I had to hoard this one. I know, but you guys share. Luckily, yeah, totally. you're together. Oh, so, that's funny. You know, no germs. Um, but the other thing is the timing. So it's so funny you said what you said about when you give someone a gift at Christmas and then they're gone for a week and then it goes bad. This took, so I've been here 20 years. I know it's hard to believe because when you're four years old and you start selling knives, I mean, it, it just kind of works yeah. out when you're 24. <laughs> um, but hey, I, it You can go to donandgino.com, click on the live stream, but I mean, you'll see that she looks 24. That's right. I'll, I'll keep that going. <laughs> um, uh, so basically, first thing is do not it took me 18 years to figure this out so for the last two years I've been practicing it it's changed my business and it's changed everyone else's that's been implementing this tip so this is tip number two is do not ever give a client appreciation gift in the month month of December ever if I catch you doing it I might run after you with the knives because you're commoditized <laughs> because you are like everyone else exactly and the whole purpose of what we're doing is doing something that no one else does see i told you our january event was yeah, way better that, that was cool see? yeah, yeah. And that's better everybody's too. doing all this i go let's do an event with our crew after the fact when we're not just crazy busy yeah, and exactly. do something for our when no one else is doing anything for them at the beginning of the and do it as a kickoff to the year as opposed to so much better. The holiday, it brings know. people back into the mode of production, you know, getting things done. They can leave the holiday stuff behind. The, the here's the time frame. So if you are doing a client appreciation gift, the last date you should give it, at least for this year, write this down. Is it. Friday, November sixteenth. I see how specific that is. 2018. That's not, that's not <laughs> something that didn't have any thought put into it. That's the date. That and is that's the, the last date. date. So that's I, the last date. So or January. Yeah, but January I prefer almost, November, though. January almost looks like you forgot and you're trying to make right. up for it. That's so. the thing. Well, yeah, unless you theme it is, hey, I want to start off your year right. Thank you for last year's production. I'm looking forward to it this that's year. Right. You True. can take that angle. That's that. angle. But it's just all the, the spin off. Like, like you said, in December, I can see. I think you're absolutely right. You're commoditized. And at least if you did it before November 16th, you do it as a thankful gift. I was exactly. you also, that's it. You pick up it. You know up all the next too, things. Oh, I didn't sure. cheat yeah. either. No. So that's why. And so here's something that Rob Talbot, KW, you know, broker VIP, owner, yeah. VIP, yeah. Good dude. He, he informed Great me dude. of this, and this was amazing. He said, you know what, Deanna, so the stable rule here is the Friday before Thanksgiving is the date. Every year you need to give the gift by. The Friday before Thanksgiving. How awesome is that? Put it on your calendar two weeks before. So November 1st, for, put on your calendar yeah. November 1st. Yeah. See? yeah. November 1st, plan who gets them and what they get. Yeah, that's right? the so thing. So that by the 16th you can deliver. Lisa! You need to start, go, yeah. start delivering. <laughs> start delivering November 1st through 16th. So I just ordered mine a couple weeks ago. Mine are about to come in. So How long does it take to get them, by the way? Um, Two to three weeks. So, we still so they're still in time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're good. So wait. So, so they're gonna take action now. Though. Right now. Yeah. Now so, is good because so look what website, date it is. Website, phone number. Let's direct people how they okay, can do this right now. Okay. The knife gal dot com. The knife gal dot com. Um, my phone number is also on there, and then it's the knife gal is Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube is all the knife gal. So whatever you like. Whatever, whatever way your you want to go. Well, and I, I say go to the website because what's nice is you give other thoughts. Not just a knife. There's multiple kinds of knives. There's package yeah. deals. Oh, there's there's the box drink sets. cooler things. You've got <laughs> all, all kinds, kinds of stuff. stuff. Scissors. Yeah. I mean, you name it, you got it. And I, right. and your site's beautiful. Your husband did a great job, by Thank the way. You. I'll give him kudos for oh, that. And by the way, Rob told me, I forgot why I mentioned him. He told me when he was like a teenager, he worked in a grocery store. And he said, Deanna, the Friday before Thanksgiving, 
and that weekend is one of the most popular weekends to buy groceries in the entire year. So if you gave them something that happened to be kitchen related, by then, guess what they're using all weekend and at Thanksgiving, oh, double exposure and Christmas or Hanukkah too. He's like, that's a double whammy. That makes sense to me. Uh, Never knew that. So, so thank you, Brad, you for that. The golden ticket. Awesome. So. All right. So again, Deanna, thank you for always bringing in fun to our show. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. And also <laughs> helping us become uh, better than we are re regarding thanking our, our clients and our partners and appreciating them and just making us, uh, helping us differentiate ourselves. That's the hardest thing, especially this day and age with social media and all these options and we're overwhelmed, but you're bringing it back to just pure, you know, um, I don't know, I just like that it's, it's personalized. And, and it shows you care. And thank they, you. You do a great job of that. So thank you for that. You're welcome. And my job is to keep you guys stress free, which is all the more reason you should give these gifts earlier. That way you only have to worry about high maintenance, friends, and family in December. Right. Why would and you ever group them together? The thing yeah, about right. knives <laughs> is you only got to give them to people that like you. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> nice. Exactly. Yeah, none of my ex-girlfriends would <laughs> get these. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Yeah, good stuff. Thank you. Again, go to thenifegal.com. You'll find a lot of great information and reach out to Deanna. She'll help you through the process, what you should do, how to get it in grade, how to get it handled. You, you can get these things sharpened for free. They take great care. They're guaranteed forever. Um, we both use them all the time. So again, thank you very much. You're and uh, thanks for having second me. Second half of the show, we're going to go into what's really happening in the real estate market right here in Santa Clarita because times are changing, and Don and Gino have the answers for you of where we're at and where we're going when we come back to the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show.